Hi, this is Kathy from Foundations with Revealed and your wardrobe unlocked. And uh, you may know that I'm working on a very ambitious project uh, to make the peacock dress. And uh, after my video last week, I had so much encouragement. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to get this going again and, uh, and uh, make it work this time. Fingers crossed. Um, so I had um, some really interesting comments and questions and there was one question that came up that I wanted to address in another video that was very similar to a question I was getting when I was running my business course uh, earlier in the year. I sometimes run, uh, you may know, I sometimes run a coaching course for people who are starting to, who are trying to start or run a successful artisan business if you're hand making something whether you're a seamstress or uh, whatever kind of handmade artist you are um, I, I run courses to help people make that work and the question I kept getting was how do I know that this is possible how do I know that I have what it takes how do I know that I'm good enough whether to do with some sort of ambitious sewing project or whether it was to do with um, running a small, starting a small business or running a small business. How do I know that I'm good enough? So I just wanted to address that question. Um, the answer, I think, in my opinion, um, how do you know you're good enough? Well, there's an assumption in that question that somebody else has to decide that for you. How do I know that I have what it takes implies that you're waiting for somebody else to give you permission. And that's okay, that's, that's, that comes from living in a world in which there are gatekeepers, in which we're full of reality shows with panels of judges who are there to tell members of the public whether they're allowed to go out and do what they really love or not, whether they're good enough. And the solution is really, there's nobody there to tell you really that you can't do this. You may get, everybody has haters, I have haters, but whether or not you're good enough some, for something is something that you decide within yourself. The person who is successful at doing something, whether it's in a career sense or in a creative project sense, is somebody who's decided for themselves, I don't actually care whether I'm good or not, or good enough or not, I'm going to figure it out. And that's the key, you've got to be willing to do the work to figure it out and willing to not know everything perhaps. Um, but the key is, you, there's nobody outside of you who's deciding whether you're good enough to do this. It's something you decide to do within yourself. Now, in the context of running a business, yeah, you've got to have a certain level of skill to be able to sell what you're doing. So, in that situation, you've got to think of being good enough as not being... Being good enough is not a static thing. It's not like you're either good enough or you're not, and you will always be either good enough or you're not. Um, being good enough, having what it takes, is about a constant process of learning and a constant process of improving. I would say you're good enough at something if you're committed to constantly learning and getting better at it and looking at a piece of work you've done. If you're the sort of person who does every project and then goes, ah, it, well, I would have done this differently. I wish I'd done that differently. I wish I had the chance to do it again. You're probably on the right lines because if you're, if you're doing a good job, then you are going to learn through every project. You are going to get better through every project and you are going to learn something and see, oh, I know how I would do that better next time. So being good enough is not, is not a static state. You've got to keep improving. So whether that means that you're starting out and you're endeavouring to get to a point where your work is sufficient to be something that someone would pay for, or whether you're somebody who's been doing this for, we all know of people who've been doing something for 20 years, but they haven't changed the way they're doing it in 20 years, so they've remained in one place. So they may have been good enough 20 years ago to do a great job at that, but 20 years later, times have moved on. Things have changed, um, methods have improved, and they should have been in a constant state of learning all along. So it's not about being in a static place. I'm at this level now. I'm good enough now. It's a, it's a process of always wanting to get better. You'll develop the skills that you need on the way. And that's really a key to it too. You have to trust in your ability to find your way. Trust in your ability to figure it out. 
when you when you ha- when you haven't got it all figured out. I haven't got it all figured out how I'm going to do the peacock dress yet. I look at that. Um, there's a section of lace on the front of the bodice that's all embroidered with spangles, and I'm looking at that now, going, I don't even know where I'm going to start with that. But I had trust that I'm going to figure it out as I go. So. Uh, it's a willingness to go on the journey. It's a willingness not to be perfect all the time. And really, that's that's what it's about. When you take on something ambitious, it's not about being sure that you're able to produce a perfect result at some specified time in the future, unless you have a deadline. It's not about having to produce that result perfectly. It's about whether it's a great business or a great um, a, a great creative project. The point is not to pull it off perfectly. The point is to go on a journey and to share the journey and to become better at who you are and what you do. And yes, you've got to please a customer along the way. But in the content, in the meta context of running a great business, are you good enough? Do you have what it takes? If you're willing to keep trying, if you're willing to keep learning, if you're willing to figure it out as you go, if you're willing to not be perfect all the time, but be prepared to um, backtrack, figure it out, apologize, make it right. If you're willing to go on the journey, then you're good enough. And then you have what it takes. I hope that helps. <laughs>